Hi, welcome to Look with Leslie. Today we have a very short Dollar Tree haul. I want to haul this stuff so I can get it put away and ready for the holidays. Thank you for joining me today. If you are currently a subscriber to the channel, welcome back. If you are new, consider hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be notified of when I upload other videos. And if you please consider hitting that like bell, that helps YouTube know that you like videos like this and it helps the algorithm of the channel. With all that said, let's get into the haul. First off, I'm going to start off with the thumbnail picture. I found two more of these smaller dining plates in the snowflake style and I needed these to finish off my set of six. It's the white with the silver snowflakes. And these are a Greenbrier product. And also I finally found the snowflake glasses. They're a fairly good size and fairly heavy. I don't know if you're able to see the design. It doesn't say if these are dishwasher safe, but I would wash them by hand just to be safe because you can feel the pattern on it and I'd be afraid that it would chip off. I'd handle these with kit gloves. I'd be a little gentle with them just to make sure they last through the season. And fortunately I was able to find all six that I needed in one place. The cashier said she had just put them out that morning. Uh, let's see here. Let's go over to that clothing area. I picked up a few of these juncture scarves. I already have two. They are 70.86 inches by 7.87. And actually, some of them are a little bit longer than others, even though that's the size says they're all the same. So just take a look at them. Some are a little bit more narrow and longer. So I picked up this design. It has the green, mint green, uh, kind of a mauve, purple, navy blue, white. It pretty much goes with anything. I picked that up as a gift. I also picked this one up to go as a stocking stuffer gift for someone else. And this has the, the black, the oranges, the pinks, the white. And they all have the fringe on both sides. And then I picked this one up for myself more pink and blue and gray with a little bit of white. So I got one for myself and two for some others. In um, okay. In health and beauty, I think I only grabbed one item. And it is the Salon Graphics New York Bounce Back Curl Refreshing Mist. It's in the 8 ounce size. I grabbed two of them. They had about 10 in the store and I hadn't seen these anywhere else. And my hair does go a little curly but it gets a little frizzy depending on the weather. So I, uh, well it goes wavy more than curly. Mm. Uh, so I picked up two of these just to have. I compared them online and let me see here. They sell for $6.98 each at Walmart currently. So a dollar, Dollar Tree, really great find. In the automotive and pet section, oh, before I go, go any farther, let me just put up a screenshot of the price comparison with Walmart. Also, um, let's go with the car department. I found this. This was a wish list item. 
It's the Armorol Disinfectant 3-in-1 Cleaner. It kills viruses and 99% of the of germs. It cleans, disinfects, and deodorizes. It's for cars, trucks, and RVs. Hydrogen peroxide is the, the main in, oh no, inert ingredients with a little bit of hydrogen peroxide are the ingredients. And this is a 24 ounce spray bottle and it twists up here to turn it on and off. And I grabbed two of these because I don't know if, if I'll ever see them again. I only saw them this one time and I had been on the hunt for them. And my car is a convertible. It has a little bit of a leak in it. So it has a little bit of a moldy smell. And I thought this would help kill the germs and help freshen the air. I did a price comparison with this with Walmart. And online they're currently selling a six pack for $65.54. So for two, you'd figure about $21. I paid $2. So really great deal at Walmart if you see them. Oh, sorry, Walmart. Really great deal at Dollar Tree. If you see them, grab them. In the pet area, oh, and I keep forgetting, I'm going to put a price comparison right here. Okay, they were the price comparisons for the Salon Graphics Curl Spray and the Armorol. Next up is are these pet toys from Petzo. They had uh, two different styles of the mice on the stick. They have one in this burlap material with little twine ears and sewn in eyes. And then the little feather tail and then they have this guy in the tan and brown he's a little furry guy with little like leather ears and tail and feathers are on the, the stick up here and best of all they make little mice noises when they're motion activated. So I picked up a few of those for Christmas gifts for cats. Oh, I'll never get that little sticky thing back in so it doesn't make noise. My cat's looking. All right, hopefully, hopefully I can put these somewhere where they won't be attacked before Christmas. of gift wrap and I picked up some in other I've shown in other videos but I was on the lookout for this one it's Disney gift wrap manufactured for plus mark it's 20 square feet 3.3 feet times two yards and it is Jack Skellington it's red with black and white it has holiday scare king on it it has the dog, skull and crossbones, little R.I.P. with where are the Chris there Christmas trees, and what else? I thought it said something else, but I guess that's everything. So he grabs oh, has a little other cross tombstone here, the little bones for the dog. See if that'll focus. So it's it's very cute and very different. Great for lovers of Jack Skellington. In the book and book like aisle, I picked this up for myself. It is rare luxury fibers, and it says. Um, it shares insights into working with uncommon, uncommon but readily available luxury downs in this comprehensive yet practical guide for today's spinners. 
and I am um, a little bit like uh, felting and have been interested in possibly making my own roving. So this goes into that with the different types of fibers that you can make and how to do it. It has some exotic animals like camels. I won't be getting any camel hair, I don't think. But it also has more common items like the cashmere goats. And I thought it was a very interesting read. And for a dollar, I figured why not? The retail price of this is $27.99. So for a dollar, definitely a pickup, $27.99. I don't know if I'd get it if I saw it out in a in a retail store. For a dollar also, it's marked $4.99. I grabbed this holiday sweets and treats little magazine. It has different holiday recipes in it. And the pictures are are wonderful. They look delicious. I just grabbed this for my daughter to see if there's anything interesting in here that she'd want to make for the holidays. And then after she's done with it, you can cut out the recipes she likes, pass it along to somebody, throw it away for a dollar. It's really worth it. And uh, for a little additional gift item, I picked up Coloring the 60s. This is not a green briar product. It's Benden of Ashland, Ohio. They also have Coloring the 70s. I'm not sure if they have any other decades, but I've seen this Coloring the 60s. And uh, it has some really neat pages in it and coloring pages from the decade. And the person that I'm giving this to was born in the late, well, right on the cusp of 1959, I think. So the 60s were when they were really becoming aware. And I love this one. This one's very nice. Before I go on, let me talk about these guys again. These um, are currently out of stock at Walmart. So I don't know if Dollar Tree got these as a buyout from Walmart, but they're listed on their website as selling for $8.17 each. Uh, but like I said, my local Walmarts, at least, are out of stock on that. We don't have any available in the area. But these retail for right now, when the store has them, $8.17 each. Again, I'm going to put a price comparison right here. Also from the gift wrap section, I grabbed some gift bags. There is this one that says Joy to the World with the little snowflakes, the red truck, the Christmas tree, and the snowman driving the little red truck. It has the same thing on the back. And the side is, let's see, I didn't look at the side. Oh, snowflake. So it goes very nicely with the background here. And there's a little tag here so you can write to from on it. Also in that collection, I grabbed the panel car with the snowman driving it and the same background with the snowflakes. And it says, peace on earth. Oh, sorry, jingle all the way. And it has the little card, little rope handles. The back, again, is the same. And the sides are that snowflake pattern again. So it goes 
very nice uh, snowflake that goes all the way around. I grabbed the Santa. Then there is this Santa bag with the traditional looking Santa with milk and cookies. And then there are some, some toys in this bag and a little white puppy dog with a lamp on the table. A little tag that says from Santa with a ribbon handle. The, the back is the same as the front. And the side is like a red, different shades of red plaid that matches very nicely with Santa's coat. It's the same color, color. And that same collection, I grabbed this Santa bag. Again, very traditional looking Santa Claus. This time he's in the sleigh and you can see the house down below. The back is the same. This one has a blue ribbon and a plaid little hang tag and I just noticed it matches the bottom is that same plaid as the hang tag. And oh the side is the same as the the bottom and the hang tag. Let me check this one. Oh yeah the bottom is the same plaid as the uh, the side that's a nice little nice little detail to continue on the bottom not just have it a, a solid color and that is it for gift bags uh, also in the clothing sock area I found the Via Spiga they call them tights flawless finish sheer control top Tights is what they're called online, uh, but they're actually nylons. They're a little bit lighter. I got the size, uh, the color black in size D. My choices were D or B, so I decided to go larger just to be safe. And I don't typically wear these, but I figured it's good to have a pair to set aside in case there's a funeral or a special event where I do have to wear the... Um, stockings if I wear a dress. Typically I wear footless tights but you never know when you have to dress up a little and these retail for anywhere from ten dollars up in other retail stores. So for a dollar again I was grabbing it. I picked up these LED lights in the stars. You get ten in the pack and it's a three foot yeah a three foot length you have to put the batteries in yourself it takes two double A's and uh, lights up pretty nicely has a little bit of a whitish more white maybe a tiny bit of blue but it's really cute to put in a tear tray or any type of crafting and again, the, the stars are a pretty good, pretty good size. And they're spaced apart about three inches. So you get the 10 on the string. So I just grabbed that. I'm going to stick it on a tray on my table amid some garland. So I could just turn it on and off and have that. With the... Uh, the Dollar Tree Tumbling Tower Blocks and the calendar. I glued together five little blocks and stained it with the, the gel stain that Dollar Tree carries. And then I cut out the back of the calendar where it has little preview pictures and just glued it on regular glue. I need to sand the sides yet and I'm making little magnets out of these. So you just take sandpaper and sand the side down and it trims this excess off. And to go along with that project, I 
was finally able to find these. I've been looking for these for a while. They're the magnetic buttons. You just hot glue them right onto the back. One is pretty, probably good enough. You could use two if you really need it. You get 12 in a pack and they are 0 0.7 inches or 18 millimeters. So they're a decent size and they're pretty thick. I'd say they're just a little, about a quarter of an inch thick maybe. So they're pretty sturdy and should work well with these. In the toy department, I found these well, this one. Uh, they only have two different versions of Snoopy, but they're the Tippies toys. They're a Bandai American Corporation. And they oscillate. So I, from what I understand, it spins, tips, and stays standing. Kind of like the Weebles that wobble. Uh, it's similar to that. And in the Peanuts, they have... All the characters and then several of Snoopy and one large Woodstock. This package contains this Snoopy right here, the small, the Snoopy with his eyes closed with the little Woodstock on, on his head. The store I was in only had that one and the Snoopy with his eyes open, but I thought this was cuter with little Woodstock. So I grabbed that. That's going to go in a package as a gift, part of a gift for someone who loves peanuts. I also found these little transformers. Key, what do they call them? Bag clips. They have the Optimus Prime and they had Bumblebee. And they actually transform. At least they look like they actually transform. These are a Greenbrier product. And I found these online at Amazon. Well, this one, actually. Online on Amazon, it was $9.48. And it's currently set, selling for $7.99. So again, dollar at Dollar Tree. If you see them, pick them up. I'm going to insert the price comparison screenshot right here. Also in the toy department, I found this Justice League Batman. He's about three inches tall by Mattel. I picked this, I chose this particular one because my daughter likes it. There were several different styles of Batman as well as some other characters from Justice League. But uh, I grabbed this one again, stocking stuffer to go in with gifts, whatever. I did a price comparison online, and this is currently selling for $5.99 at Walmart. Let me put that price comparison right here. The last item from this haul is this wall shelf. It is two pieces of wood with the twine and ring, and... Um, they are 6.7 by 5.2 inches. It's a set of two, and it's nice for plants. You could just hang it anywhere on a hook, or you could even use it for knickknacks or some other item or crafting. I'm sure you could come up with something to use this for for crafting that would be really neat. Uh, but I grabbed it as a plant hanger for my daughter. And that is it for everything from this haul. And yeah, that, that is everything from this haul. Like I said, it was going to be a short one. But before I close, I just want to mention my receipts. I always scan these into an app called Fetch. And you get points for each receipt you upload or scan and submit. Usually it's 25 points, but some items like Pepsi and different food items, uh, different Dove products are worth more points. The points add up really quickly, and then you can use those points to get gift cards, gift certificates for different restaurants, different online sh online shopping sites, Amazon. Uh, it's basically like free money. So 
If you're interested, I have the information and my link to Fetch in the description box below. If you use my code, when you scan your first receipt, you get at least 2,000 points to get you started. So like I said, it's pretty much free money and it's well worth it. Consider hitting that link and giving it a shot, especially now with buying everything for the holidays. You're going to have a lot of receipts. Good time to get started on it. And that is everything for today. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.